So you've got storage under here, which is between the two uh, original beds that were there. There is an accordion style door right here, which really helps if you've got the AC going back here when you're going to bed if it's warm. It really keeps that cool. Nice closet here, lots of hanging space. The table um, that goes in the floor underneath that rug, there's a spot for that. You've got some drawers there, one drawer there, and then the rear furnace is right there. Got the bathroom here, new plumbing in here, um, all PEX plumbing upgraded. And then as we go through, you can see there is the hole for the table for this booth. Uh, new flooring, vinyl flooring was just put in last year and it is glued down. So if you wanted to replace the floor, you can just lay right over top of that. Uh, newer fridge, this was upgraded from the previous owner. Everything with the stove works. It is a four burner cooktop. And then the convection microwave oven up there works. Built in blender works as well. Got all your gauges and, and checks right up here. Two chairs and the couch. These two chairs and this couch, uh, which folds out, have all been, they were all cleaned professionally last year. Um, I actually pulled them out of here when I was doing the flooring and had those professionally cleaned. There is some wear on these up here, um, but there's no tears in it, which is nice. Um, so it's still all right there, just worn. Um, still very comfortable, ride very smooth. It does have the original TV up here. Um, however, it doesn't really work. Uh, there's a, a TV that comes in the back. Um, but you can see with these cabinets, I mean, this is good, solid material. You know, it's, it's there. Um, that fiberglass hull that runs throughout. Um, there's the original um, quilts that go on the twin beds. I just use those as a little extra protection um, when my sister sleeps in there. Um, but you can see these are all nice, solid wood up here. Blinds are, are in good shape. Um, more cabinets here. And then you've got some up there as well. This one does have um, the owner's manual and, and tons of other documents in there regarding the new fridge and everything else. The battery bank is located underneath the steps here. Uh, there's two for the coach and then one for the chassis. And then here you can get a good idea. This is what the paint is throughout. Um, so you can see no cracks and peels on it. Um, it does have right now a cell phone booster right up there. Um, that runs in through this hole here and then is actually underneath the bed. Spare tire. I just had new steer tires put on last year. Um, so the ones, the steer tires I replaced, that was still the original uh, spare under there. Coming around this side, you got one AC unit here. Your generators here works fantastic. Uh, City Water Connect again. Paint's in pretty solid shape coming through here. Um, got your refrigerator, hot water heater. We do have some storage down below on those. The front AC, um, which doesn't work. The fan works on it. Um, it just doesn't blow cold. Coming back around the front. You can see, I apologize. I just got a stick stuck in my sandal. Here's the front. I do keep the Reflectix up there um, when I'm parked out here at my cabin, keeps it nice and cool in there. And then your LP gas hookup is there. You do have an external, oh, fancy step, uh, external plug there. Then you've got a rear gas tank there and a rear gas tank there. 